Ardmar had to admit it. Without that strange monster he'd be chasing, he was lost. Ardmar, the creature whispered as he snuck up on him from behind. Ardmar was startled, but quickly slammed the creature to the ground. He had finally caught the creature and demanded, Tell me where you've taken my people, goblin. Do I look like a goblin to you? The creature replied. Ardmar became even more enraged. Okay, okay. Look, the creature said nervously. I don't know where they've taken him, and I don't know who did it. I don't know why you would even care. There's an elder deep in the forest. He knows everything that happens here. If they're in the forest, he'll know. Just down the river. All right, but if you're lying, you know I can catch you again, said Ardmar as he released the creature. Viking hut. It was strange there was one so deep in the forest. Could this be the place the goblin spoke of? Perhaps inside there were answers. The hut was abandoned. All that remained was a book. Although Ardmar was never one for reading, he opened it. Inside the book it read, Diary of Vaskar, the Disgraced. Could his old friend still be alive? With Ardmar's parents gone, Vaskar took Ardmar in. Despite this huge responsibility at such a young age, Vaskar had impressed the chief and become a promising young warrior. The chief was so impressed, he decided Vaskar was to lead the Vikings into the forest for the first time. Vaskar went to the forest alone to prepare. But the more he went out there, the less he wanted to hurt anything within it. He begged the chief to reconsider, but the chief was not a very thoughtful man. 
When Vasco refused to lead the charge, he was labeled a traitor and was banished. Much time passed, and a fairy visited Vasco. A great threat to the forest was looming, and her people were in danger. She knew she could trust him with the great power to save the forest. He had no idea he was to fight the God of Chaos. Vaskar was almost victorious, but Loki, in desperation, turned Vaskar's own powers against him. He was cursed, but Loki was driven from the forest for now. The curse was quickly consuming Vaskar, but the fairy could not help. Loki's hold in the forest and her magic was still too tight. The fairy asked if there was anyone else who could help. Vaskar was reluctant to put his friend in danger. But he had no choice. Odmar always asked himself why he never went out there, why he was too scared to try and help his friend as he had helped him. He often thought about that. But where was Vasco now? Perhaps his answer laid further down the river.
The cranky elder had been woken up by Odmar and was eager to get back to sleep. I'm sorry I woke you up, said Odmar, but I need your help to find my people. The gods entrusted the forest to your people, the elder replied. But you destroy it for your own gain. Why should I, the great elder of the forest, help you? Odmar didn't know how to respond and felt ashamed. The forest goblin, Odmar uttered. He told me that you had answers. Please help me. The elder paused. He knew that the creature Odmar was referring to had made a great sacrifice to protect the forest. He decided to help Odmar. Underneath the great mountain, there is a powerful golem, explained the elder. It will not help you willingly, but it has the key to the gate between worlds. Odmar's spirits were lifted and asked the elder, Between worlds? Will I find my people there? Do, do, do you know where Vasker is? The elder yawned, closed his eyes and muttered, Oh, I grow tired, Viking. I'm not used to speaking this much. The elder fell into a deep slumber, and Odmar was on his way. Odmar ventured deeper into the forest and encountered a band of goblins holding a forest critter prisoner. Although his greatest challenge lay ahead in that mountain, and he was resolved to stay on his path, he knew that helping that poor critter was the right thing to do. Come, new friend! He shouted as he smashed the cage and freed the prisoner. The squirrely creature was thankful. In return, he agreed to help the Viking along his journey. Odmar thanked the squirrel he had taken him very far. Perhaps he could find help in this village. The village was deserted. Could Odmar be the last Viking in all of the land? If he failed, would he be destined to walk alone until the end of his days? Odmar had heard stories as a child of the beast of legend that lurked below the water. But unless disturbed, that is where it would stay. The crack! It was real! Perhaps the Chief's wish would come true.
Thank you.